So if I'm looking back from where we are now to 12 months ago with the whole digital, digital video revolution, what we see, I think, are a couple of things. One is the, the lines are blurring. The linear, traditional TV world wants to get more like digital in the sense that they want more accountability and they want more precise targeting. On the other hand, you look at the over the top and the connected TV world and what they want is more mass consumption. They want more consolidation because it's an incredibly uh, fragmented market. You've got Roku, you've got Apple TV, uh, you've got Netflix, you've got Amazon Prime. I mean, it, you know, you think that it's confusing when you look at, uh, you have an iOS device or you have a Android device and that's hard enough. Now we're talking about dozens of, do dozens of different platforms and channels. So we're going to see the lines continue to blur uh, as they have been, but we're also going to see this streaming trend accelerate. Uh, our estimate is that by 2020, as an example, uh, streaming uh, or non-paved TV households, I should say, which um, technically means people who are not paying for the classic cable TV or satellite or you know, through a telco, right? is going to grow from like 20% a few years ago to over a third. So that's a pretty big sea change over the last few years and we're gonna see that trend uh, just accelerate. And if you look at the time spent, the share of time spent watching TV or video, movies, that kind of thing, there's been a pretty dramatic shift from watching it mostly on the television to gradually over towards streaming. And if you look at millennials, they've already crossed that line. Right now, what reigns supreme is the smart TV. If you buy a smart TV today, guess what? You're going to be streaming, or you're going to have the potential of, of streaming if you want to use it. Um, but right next on the list, which kind of surprised me how fast they rose up, right after the smart TV is Roku. In fact, they're right ahead of the game con console, which of course is in uh, a huge penetration in households, but Roku is really uh, rapidly uh, shifted upwards. In my own personal household, I'm, I guess I'm following the, uh, the dark horse in that uh, we're an Apple family uh, in general, and so we have an Apple TV, and if I can't find that Apple TV remote, I just go berserk and, and uh, go crazy. But we also use Roku, uh, we also have an Xbox 360, and, and this is really where it's all going. It's about choice. Sometimes I, I can't find a movie on Netflix, so I'm going to Amazon Prime. Sometimes I go to Netflix. Sometimes, gosh, it could be on broadcast, for God forbid. I mean, the thing is, people want choice and they certainly don't wanna wait uh, for anything. And that's why I, one of the benefits uh, of all of this change and so on is for the consumer. They not only have more choice and better quality, but they get to watch whenever they wanna watch. And if they wanna watch six episodes a night and binge, then they can do that. And we're seeing that all demographics are binging now. So where are we in the changing consumer consumption patterns? Um, I would say that uh, it's racing ahead, but we are really only in the beginning innings, uh, to use the baseball analogy. Um, I mean, the numbers that we look at every day, we look at third party sources, we have our own forecasts, we have to constantly recalibrate them because it's moving so fast. That said, let's just get a quick reality check. If you look at the total time spent by Americans, on average, looking at TV or video content, 70% of it today is still on what you call the traditional linear TV. 30% is digital. But if you look at the growth rate, it is absolutely with digital, whereas we're seeing a slow decline in linear TV uh, uh, watching. We're also seeing the number of pay TV households dropping from about 80% a few years ago down to about 70% today. So that's just the beginning of the change. Where we're going to see things really start to fly is the millennials uh, have more and more money and more and more free time. They're going to be, and it's not, not to mention Gen X, we're, the whole new generation is just going to turn this game upside down because there is almost no, or very few, I should say, uh, young people today who bother to watch traditional TV. So if you're looking at the future, uh, you better put your bets on streaming.